Hey guys, my name is Kaylin. I also go by Kcray, and today I'm going to be trying out Lights Lacquer, specifically the Win and Romance collection, which is the new fall collection. I, it's beautiful. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to try Lights Lacquer for a very long time, basically ever since it came out. Because, full disclosure. I love Kathleen Lights. I think that she's so delightful. She's wonderful. She's so funny. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing. And uh, I've been watching her for years. So I'm really excited that I was able to uh, order these. And um, I will also say that I ordered um, the, the, the summer collection too. I have no self-control. Anyways, I also want to say that I am very new to nail polish. I've been getting into it more during quarantine because what else am I gonna be doing? And also it makes me feel nice and pretty. Sometimes you just you just have to do that for yourself. Um, but I am tragic, truly tragic at trying to paint on my nails, draw anything, write the English language. I, I can't do it. So um, we're gonna see how this goes. Please know that if it looks bad, it's probably because of me and not because of the nail polish. Um, but yeah, I am super excited. And without too much further ado, let's go ahead and get into trying the nail polishes. So first up, I do have the shade Yours Truly, which I know that she said was based off of the color of old parchment. So like old love letters, that sort of thing. I will say that there are a couple of trains in this collection, this being one of them, that as someone who is um, less of a skin tone and more just entirely translucent, um, I'm worried that it's not going to look the most flattering on me, but we will give it a try and see how this goes. Shake well. Does it say that? I feel like you're supposed to... It's fine. Also, um... This is the video of disclaimers. I may have, I don't know if it shows up on camera, I may have a slightly like orangey tone to some of my nails. And that is, oh my gosh, she's thick. Uh, but that is because I ate an entire bag of mandarin oranges in one sitting yesterday. So, um, if that happens, it's, uh, it's fine. Oops. I feel like I always have some sort of, like, fruit stain on my nails, whether it be from, like, eating an unacceptable amount of mandarin oranges or, like, uh, eating frozen blueberries. I don't know if y'all have ever done that, but it's, oh my god, so, okay, so this is... This is not the best looking uh, thing I've ever done. <laughs> it's fun. This is super easy to apply though. I mean, I usually, and it, I know that this may be hard to believe, but I'm usually much worse at it than this. So I like this like thick little paint brush. Uh oh, oh dear. Okay, so that's. That's one coat, but it's also like one coat of me being bad at applying nail polish. Hopefully you can see it. I mean, I haven't figured out, I haven't figured out what lighting is at all. I don't know if this is a color that I necessarily would have gone for if I was just buying them individually, but um, like she's cute. I, I would apply a second coat, but I feel like I applied the first one so thick that it, <laughs> it's almost not, it's almost not worth it. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's what she looks like. I feel like this looks better than I thought it was going to. I, I feel like it's cute. I can see, I can see how this would look uh, good on other people who are not me. Um, but I like the actual nail polish. That was super easy to apply. Let me just take, oh God. Okay. Get in there. Okay. A little like golem came out there. Get in there. I'm really playing it fast and loose here with uh, the possibility of getting stuff on my desk. Ah, it's burning me. So the next color in this collection is called At Last. Has come along. Oh! 
It's a very deep, not quite navy blue, but more like deep ocean blue. You know what I mean? Um, like the color of the diamond in Titanic. Is that diamond even blue? Like the Hope Diamond? Was it based off of that? The Hope Diamond. Okay. Oh my God. So this one I feel like actually could look nice against my um, incredibly pale skin. I also like, I will say, I took no effort to like push any sort of cuticle situation back. I'm very new to this. I don't have all the equipment. All right. Uh, but that being said, considering the first nail polish went on like fairly smooth, at least in my opinion, I don't know. Uh, I feel like that's pretty impressive. Oh. Okay, so this is a darker color, so you're able to see um, my shortcomings as an artist a little easier. Um, oh. I will say that normally when I'm wearing nail polish, not to just remove it immediately after, like not for a video, uh, you know, you just, for those of you who are not artistically gifted like me, you can just go in and like, clean it up afterwards and well I don't know if that did anything and like that works no one will even know that you have no talent okay some some people will know that you have no talent but you know you won't know when you just look down briefly and don't think about the memory of you Ooh, okay we gotta There we go. Okay, again, I know that this is like a, I, I have done a truly horrific job of applying this. This is one coat. I feel like for this one, I'll go ahead and try and apply a second coat. Let's see how this, let's see how this goes. So I tried to clean it up a little bit. I ruined a few things, made a few things better. So all in all, I'd say we came out morally neutral on the other side of that uh, correction. Um, I truly feel bad for anyone who clicked on this thinking it might be one of those like satisfying nail polish videos because I, I love those. I, I mean, I've been more into the satisfying like ASMR soap making and uh, ASMR baking videos. But I will say that the like satisfying nail polish videos I very much enjoy and they make it look so easy where you're like, oh, of course you just put Elmer's glue around your cuticles and then you do it perfectly. What I lack in raw talent, I make up for an enthusiasm. I really like this color a lot. It's not one that I would typically go for. I feel like it does actually look decent against my skin tone. Obviously, if I was going to be keeping this color on, I would <clears throat> clean it up a little bit. You know, I... It's cute. It actually matches my like very <laughs> casual shorts that I'm wearing right now. I stole these from my mother. I think she wore them in military training. So Kathleen, I don't know if that's what you're going for, but you, you nailed it. Nailed it. I'll be here all week. Okay, so as you can see, hopefully, this one was pretty difficult to get off. Um, I did try, despite how it might look, uh, I guess it's just super dark. Um, you know, <laughs> a good thing for if you're actually wearing the nail polish, not so good if you're trying to rapid fire try them all on. I think to save myself some pain and suffering moving forward, I'll alternate hands. I am left-handed, so it is a little easier for me to, to do my right hand, but I'm moderately ambidextrous. And let's be honest, I'm not killing it with my left hand. If I was Picasso, with my left hand, then I'd be like, you know, bro, let's stick with quality. But like how much worse is there gonna get? So moving on to the next color, this one is called We'll Always Have Paris. And it's this really beautiful, like rose gold champagne-y, like it has glitters in it. I don't know if this helps. I don't know, you'll have to excuse me. I'm filming with my phone and don't know what lighting is. Um, but you know, I really wanted to give, give this whole thing a try. I normally do gaming content on this channel. Pro Gamer K Cray, as I'm known in the community. 
If you're actually from the community, please just let me have this. So I'm gonna try this one. This one is one of my, just like looking at it, one of my favorite colors in the collection. Okay, I can tell that she's gonna need a couple coats. Although like if I didn't, like to be fair, if I, if I didn't have the blue color that I couldn't get out from underneath it, that would actually be kind of, kind of cute as just like a sheer casual nail polish. Okay, I, I actually, I mean, mostly because it's kind of sheer, I feel like I'm kind of killing it with the application on this one. <laughs> Trying my absolute best to cover this blue. Oh God, oh no, oh. Oh, oh no, I stuck my finger in. I mean, I don't know, maybe maybe this will be a look like a like an ombre nail where it's actually just like stain from nail polish you had on prior on your cuticles that you couldn't physically get off. So that's with one coat. Um, she's cute. That could be a cute like sheer just, ooh, what's that on your nails kind of moment? Huh. But let's try it with two coats. I will say that this dries so quickly. I remember when I was little and my mom would put nail polish on me and and it it genuinely felt like it took 70 years for nail polish to dry. I couldn't touch anything and I was, I was like, I mean, I wasn't an overactive kid, but I was constantly doing stuff. Like I, I had important business to attend to my stuffed animals weren't gonna look after themselves. I'm really liking the way this looks with the second coat. I'm having to, in my mind, like mentally block out the blue on the edges. But once I do that, it looks great. Maybe should have, like hindsight, should have saved the really dark color for last, but I'm just doing it in order. Oh, maybe, I think she misnamed it. It should have been for last, not at last. Ugh, comedy genius. I'm taking a moment. I feel like, I mean, please genuinely forgive, forgive the cuticle situation. This is kind of a moment. It's kind of a moment and I like it. I love the little sparkles. I, uh, I love the ombre effect of the blue on the cuticles. She's just, it's actually a very similar color to, um, I think it's called it's the it's the light shiny color or the sparkly color in the tartlet and bloom palette is it called funny girl i don't know uh it's very similar to that which is what i have on my eyelid right now so hm. moving right along up next we have this shade called venus it's like a like a red but with a metallic orangish reflect i know that this is named after like the goddess of love and beauty but you know, I think it could also be named after the planet Venus. She's um, a hostile environment. And honestly, I feel like that's decently close to my experience with romance. So a little something for everyone in this collection. Oh no, I'm ruining the other side. Oh no. All right, so this also applies pretty sheer. Um, apologies if it's like, a weird sort of angle situ- uh, Who knows, if I choose to do uh, more of this kind of content in the future, maybe I'll actually try and figure out a way so that it doesn't look like booty and not the good kind. Let's be honest, there's not a bad kind of booty. Little booty, big booty, squishy booty, round booty. Flat booty. What are other kinds of booty? Okay, so that is what she looks like after one coat. With one extremely poorly applied coat, I feel like this reads more pink than than red with orange reflect. Um, so I'll, I'll see if on the second coat, it looks more red. 
like a fuchsia. Maybe I was just wrong about the color in general. But yeah, it's like a fuchsia. It's pretty. I really didn't even try on that one. <laughs> that is just on my finger. I apologize. I am using my non-dominant hand for this one. So I am going to continue to make excuses as if I haven't been doing a lackluster job this entire time. These nail polishes haven't been doing a lackluster job, though. I feel like they've been really easy to work with. They've been applying really well. And I mean, even made it slightly easier for me than like I usually struggle a lot and I'm only struggling. I'm only struggling. All right, so I clean it up like a little bit. I do, I do really like this color. These two are probably going to end up being two of my favorites in the collection. I keep wanting to be like, Ooh, well, maybe if I had more time, I wouldn't be messing it up this bad. Girl, yes, you would. This is gonna leave glitter behind on my nails. I feel like, I feel like none of these nail polishes are really getting a fair shot here between like my inability to put on nail polish and the fact that there's like leftover residue. Ew. Ew. Huh? I have a little bit, like a little tiny eczema patch on this wrist and the nail polish remover dripped down and got on that eczema and it felt like the fires of Mordor on my wrist. Like, come here, Frodo. I can take care of that ring for you. Put it on my burning wrist. So this one is like, it's called a temporary madness. And that is exactly what was going through my mind when I was like, maybe this would look decent on me because gingers flee before mustard yellow. I've seen some gingers really pull it off, but either they're not like naturally born gingers with this complexion or they're just gifted. I, I don't know. This is a color that I've always just avoided because I feel like it doesn't look, it doesn't look great on me. Um, but I do like it as a color, but we'll try. Maybe, um, ooh, yeah, that straight up looks like mustard. Okay, I don't want to speak too soon, but I feel like I'm kind of improving a little bit like before before our very eyes yeah i mean honestly i don't know how i feel about the color on me um just like in terms of mentally getting past like feeling like i don't look good in mustard yellow like given the right outfit you know what i mean i feel like this could work yeah i i feel like this color looks beautiful on darker skin tones please know like if you are pale like me any any other color like wear whatever you want absolutely i just there are certain colors that i don't necessarily feel comfortable in um this is one of them but i actually i like it more than i thought i was going to it's kind of growing on me actually kind of like it anyways Last but not least is Mia, or is it M-I-A? I don't know. Uh, and it's this like sort of dusty rose shade. This one is really pretty. Um, this is probably gonna be one of my favorites from the collection. I feel bad, I'm not giving her as much of a chance. I'm shaking so bad. Oh my God. I don't know how people go in and they're just like, Steady hand, I don't know. Never could have been a surgeon. This one's cute, I like it. I mean, my application is not stellar. I think I'm gonna put a second coat on. Um, famous last words, possibly. Okay, so this one is getting a little textured. I don't know if it's because I needed to wait longer for putting this coat on, or like I'm just putting too much on. 
All right, so this is Mia. It's really pretty. It honestly kind of, on camera at least, reads almost a brown color, but it is like a very, very like dark, dusty rose color. Um, it's really pretty. I like it a lot. It, it did get some texture on it. I think that that's on me for applying it before it was dry or applying too, or applying too much, something like that. Um, overall, I did really like this collection. Um, I am excited to try out. I haven't gotten to try any of those out yet. The, the summer ones that are just a beautiful rainbow back there. But yeah, the Wind and Romance collection is stunning. I really like these nail polishes. Granted, I don't have the largest scope in terms of trying all of the nail polishes ever. Um, but yeah, I, I really did enjoy these and I'm gonna enjoy wearing these throughout the fall season. I'm gonna try and make this color work for me. I'm gonna try and do it. I'm gonna try and find the right outfit, the right moment, and it's, I feel like it's gonna happen. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching this. Uh, let me know what you thought. If you enjoyed this, obviously I know that some of the camera quality was not the best, some of the lighting, um, but hopefully you did enjoy it. If I do end up continuing to do this kind of video, I may, <laughs> try and figure out a little bit better of a setup for that but thank you all so much for watching it really means the world and um yeah subscribe if you want to leave a like if you want to and i hope y'all are having a wonderful day and tune in next time for more shenanigans